Over the last eight years, we've heard you talk about the former president. You have called him a fraud, a con artist. You've said he's, <laughs> he's a New Yorker like you, and you have watched this brand of BS for decades. And despite that, he became president. And now we're watching him. 10 blocks from where we are right now, yeah. sitting in a courtroom as a criminal defendant. What do you think about that? The guy's a monster. It's beyond wrong. It's almost like he wants to do the most horrible things that he can think of in order to get a rise out of us. I don't know what it is, but he's been doing it and doing it, and it's scary. Do you think Joe Biden's the right guy? He, uh, we don't have a choice, and I think he is the right guy. He's a good guy. He's trying to do the right thing, um, and we don't have a choice. And I say that in a very positive, good way. Ex-owner Elon Musk blasted actor Robert De Niro on his social media platform after the Heat star compared former President Trump to infamous dictators Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Musk replied to a clip of De Niro's statements from MSNBC's 11th Hour with Stephanie Rule, stating that Trump's policies bore no resemblance to those of both dictators and declared that the actor's latest anti-Trump tirade makes no sense. During the segment, which aired on MSNBC Thursday evening, De Niro declared that Trump he's, a really, he's sick. He is really genuinely a sick person that somehow has been allowed into our system. And I'm not calling him, I'm tired of calling him names. He just can't be anywhere near uh, the office of the presidency. He also explained what he would say to voters who are holding their nose to vote for him in the 2024 presidential election. I don't, I don't think they understand how dangerous it will be if he ever, God forbid, becomes president. He continued, comparing the former president to some of history's worst figures. And historically, from what I see, even with, in, in Nazi Germany, they had it with Hitler. They don't take him serious. He looks like a clown, acts like a clown. Mussolini, same thing. These guys, I don't know why, they look like clowns. They somehow people, uh, that element of society identifies in some ways with them, but it would be chaos beyond our imagination. There's no mystery about him. He, he's right out front. And what he says is what it'll be if he becomes president. Once the clip hit X, Musk felt the need to speak out. He replied, well, Trump was actually already president for four years, and his policies bore no resemblance to those of Hitler, so this makes no sense. He also pointed out an example of Trump's policies that the 20th century dictators wouldn't have pursued, stating, in fact, with the Abraham Accords, he made some progress towards peace in the Middle East, which was definitely not high on Hitler's agenda. De Niro's anti-Trump rhetoric has been a staple of his public persona in recent years. The actor, who played the villain in Martin Scorsese's 2023 crime drama, Killer of the Flower Moon, compared Trump to his character at the Cannes Film Festival last year, saying they both have a feeling of entitlement that drives their evil actions. Lying has become just another tool in the charlatan's arsenal. The former president lied to us more than 30,000 times during his four... Thank you. Years in office. And he's keeping up the pace in his current campaign of retribution. But with all his lies, he can't hide his soul. He attacks the weak, destroys the gifts of nature, and shows disrespect, for example, by using Pocahontas as a slur. One of De Niro's most famous anti-Trump outbursts happened on stage during the 2018 Tony Awards, where he clenched his fists and told the audience, I'm gonna say one thing, F Trump. It's no longer down with Trump, it's F Trump. Let's take away Godfather 2. 
where he played a young Vito Corleone. Yeah. Okay, let's take away Casino from decades ago. This is who Robert De Niro is. He is a multimillionaire who doesn't feel inflation or rising gas prices. He's a guy who has personal security, so he doesn't feel crime in New York spiraling out of control. He's a guy whose job isn't taken away uh, by illegal immigration. Instead of doing movies, maybe he should just co-host a show with Stephanie Rule over on MSNBC at this point. He's just another elitist with too much time on his hands, Todd. And, uh, you know, he's telling us how to think, basically.